I have a lot of games. Maybe too many games. You would think that I would never run out of things to play, but I'm cursed by the endless amount of choices. And the worst part? I don't have time to play through all of them, but I'm tired of life getting in the way. That's why I'm taking on the Sisyphean task of playing through all my games. My backlog is packed to the brim with some bona fide classics, some hidden gems, some middling time wasters, and some atrocious turds. Starting with my PS3 collection, I'm going to navigate my way through the first hour of these games so that you don't have to and provide my thoughts on the initial experience. And hopefully, as I go along, maybe I can finally answer the timeless question that plagues all gamers. What should I play next? This is the opening hour. Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of the opening hour. Last time I did things a little bit differently. Uh, my wife and I uh, picked some of the new games that I had purchased around Black Friday, and we ended up going with Wolfenstein, um, the 2009 remake. I had a great time, or not remake, reboot. Uh, I had a great time, and so I did make sure to include those games and, and get them in my nifty little jar here. So we're going to go back to normal now and uh i'm gonna go ahead and pick another game so hopefully there's something promising in the cards here um but you never know that's the appeal of this so let's go ahead and get this lovely jar shaken up and pick our next game at some point i do want to get this de jar decorated and you know all fancy and stuff like that but uh for now, for the time being, it's gonna have to go with a regular, boring, clear jar. Orpheus, stop, stop chewing on that. You wanna know what my dog was chewing on? Pooper scooper. Can't leave him with anything. Moment of truth. Ooh, this one feels, this one feels promising. Feels real promising. Let's see here. Super Stardust HD. Here we go. Oh, come on. Every time I'll put my hand, hand behind it. There we go. Super Stardust HD. Jesus. I need to find a better way to actually show the, the little scraps of paper on camera. Anyway, um, I actually have played a significant amount of Super Stardust HD, but it has been quite a while. And uh, hopefully it is as good as I remember. Um, I actually used to play this on the PS3, um, on the Vita, when that was still a thing. <laughs> and even, uh, I think there was a PS4 version that was like an extended uh, version of it. So uh, definitely have some experience with this one, uh, but I'm excited to dive back in and go into the history of the game. So I will go ahead and explain some of that and we'll get to playing. Super Stardust HD is a fun one, and I'm hyped that I get to talk about it. Developed by Housemark Games and released in 2007 for the PlayStation Network, Super Stardust HD is surprisingly a remake of the 1996 game Super Stardust, which was a sequel to a space shooter just called Stardust. <sighs> To lay it out plainly, you fly around in a ship with three different types of weapons, boosting, dropping bombs, collecting items, blowing up asteroids, and generally trying not to die. In addition to Super Stardust HD on the PS3, there was a PSP release, Super Stardust Portable, a Vita version, called Super Stardust Delta, and a PS4 Definitive Edition. Super Stardust Ultra. Have I said Stardust too many times? I feel like I've said Stardust too many times and now it's just messing with my brain. It sounds weird. Stardust, Stardust, Stardust. Going forward, let's just call it SSHD, unless I mention a different game. Back to the montage. Anyway, that version comes with all of the DLC and a VR mode. 
The original game released on the Amiga, CD32, and MS-DOS platforms, and was actually developed by one of Finland's very first commercial video game studios, Bloodhouse before they merged with another studio in the area, Terramark. And I'm guessing you can figure out how they got the studio name they've been using ever since. Or maybe not, it's not my place to judge. Afterwards, Housemark developed a few games like The Reap, Alien Incident, and Transworld Snowboarding, before releasing SSHD on the PS3, which was just the start of a long-lasting relationship with Sony that gave us some insanely good but tough arcade-style shooters like Rezogun, Dead Nation, Alienation, and eventually led to their acquisition in full by Sony, where they released their first AAA title, the roguelike-inspired, time-looping action shooter game from 2021 that wasn't Deathloop, Returnal. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> SSHD was my first Housemark game, and I remember buying it shortly after launch because I was a huge fan of the Geometry Wars games on Xbox. And the demo I played hooked me instantly with its mix of bullet hell intensity and classic space shooter pick up and play nature. There's not much else to say, so without stalling any further, let's get into the game and see if it still holds up. Okay, so that was a brief overview of Super Stardust HD. Um, I am going to be cheating a little bit here because my PlayStation 3 is working, but my controller is dead. So instead, we're playing the updated version for PS4, which is uh, Super Stardust Ultra. Literally the same game, but with some added stuff like VR support and all the expansions built in. Uh, and I will be playing that on my PS5. So... Purists, I'm sorry. It's the same fucking game. Deal with it. We officially have one hour on the clock. And let's get started. Let's get started. Ready? <laughs> Stardust. Okay. So we'll start with single player. Mmm. Ruby, which game mod should I pick? I don't know anything about this game. Anything about... So it's like a... It's a space shooter, but like you're on a little planetoid. Oh, you should do survival then. Survival? Okay. Yeah. Start with survival. Probably gonna get my ass kicked because I haven't played this in like five years. Yeah. That's the point. <laughs> Entertainment. <laughs> Oh, that's a cool yeah. game plan. Yeah. It's like we're in a Michael Bay movie. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a time limit for survival too? Oh Jesus. shit. You're about to die. <laughs> it's not a time limit. Time over. How long you survive. Oh, okay. <laughs> why was it why are there time pickups then? It's there's one, by the way. <laughs> that was intense. Yeah, it just ramped up so fast. I was not prepared. I feel like we're in the nightclub in Wade. <laughs> oh. Okay. Game over. Alright. You didn't even last longer than you last time. <laughs> I know. I got distracted. Alright. I'm a hindrance. You're a hindrance? Yeah. Too. Look, I'm I'm a thousand and one though. Okay. I need to at least get a minute in survival before Stardust. I move on. So. Sick. 
I think I can do it. Uh, in fact, I know I can do it. I used to play this a lot. <clears throat> I used to play this a lot. Okay. Making me sound like the chosen. Yeah. <laughs> Forty-nine. I've slain that many before. Which is why I was permaban from the Burning Legion server. Jesus. Am I just fucking blind? Your reflexes are slower than yours. A wonderful age. You're so young and thriving. <laughs> Five, five years of marriage on our anniversary. Okay, five years of being Five years. <laughs> <laughs> five five, five married years of marriage. Years. I'm kidding. We've been married for a year and some months. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Game over. Uh, clearly. And with like Star over death. 60 deaths because I can't get past 40 uh, fucking four. That was four, right? Was that four? In the arms of the angel If we get to 10 and I can't get past a minute, then, then I'll move on. Gold melter activated. Ice glitter activated. Rock crusher activated. Okay, huh? Oh, you beat your game in your best high. <laughs> New monthly high score. <laughs> Last one. Stardust. One, one more. One more survival. But you said ten. Ten? No, I was saying if I can't beat my score within ten. Or maybe I said I can't. Yeah. I can't you said a minute. A minute? Okay, I'm gonna go ten. So that's five? Yeah. Keeping me honest. Damn right, bitch. <laughs> I feel like this is not doing anything to the rocks. Keep some more day. You don't wanna be hit. Get <laughs> over. <laughs> Stardust. I think what makes it even more frustrating is that every single time I die, it's like, oh, you wanna challenge your friends to this? So who who on my friends list is playing Super Stardust H HD or fucking Super Stardust Ultra right now? Shield Fuck. Fuckity fuck fucking fuck. fuck, fuck, fuck. I wonder what the time pickups really do here then. Yeah. Seems kind of pointless. Get one. I've, I've gotten a few of them. I know, but get one when I'm looking at the time. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Shit. Not today. Not right now. Uh, okay. Oh, right into a rock. Game so you think this game looks tricky? Your other game, Rezo Gun? That one. Yeah. Why is it so lucky? Because that one is. Uh, oh, it adds two seconds. It adds time. So it does game add time. Over. Or... Yeah. So I bet all these fucking people I mean, didn't even really survive that long. Probably just got a bunch of time. Stardust. They just got lucky. Fucking assholes. 
<laughs> Fucking assholes. Fucking assholes. Oh, that was nine. Come on, John. Cuck suckers. But yeah, so Rezo gun is kind of like this, but you can only go like left and right, but it's still like a full like, circle around the planet, if that makes sense. But um, like in addition to having to shoot like instead of asteroids, it's ships. You have to shoot those, but then you also there's like little humans that you have to save. What? Yeah. So like if they drop, that and die, then like. You Oh, fuck. Ah! Oh. Game over. Star Dust. Mm. This is the number one person has. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to just... Are the best parts of life really just finding momentary distractions to keep yourself busy so you don't think about the harsh realities of life for a second? I can ride roller coasters, meet new friends, and spend time with my family all day long. It doesn't change the fact that the sun is just gonna explode. And all this was for nothing. Guess I'm just gonna have to unalive myself in this game so we can figure <laughs> Not, not IRL. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Not in real <gasps> hell. There we go. Now we can look at the score. Fragmi Omega. 33 minutes and 50 seconds. What the fuck? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. He's real good. I don't believe it. He's real good. <laughs> I don't know about or that. Or they're real good. I don't really like them. The monthly survival is Eunice. Hey, Eunice. Or you, you knew. Five seven, five seven five. PS five. PS five. <laughs> or is it you knew? Pss, 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 pss. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay, Orpheus. Pss, pss, pss. Oh, he does not like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, noted. Classic arcade mode, you think? E. Endless. <laughs> Endless. Logie. Okay. I didn't really get to see the mechanic there. So there's, there are different weapons for like different like get asteroid ready. types because there's like rocks and there's like gold and then there's ice. Mm -hmm. so, like, gold this is the gold one. What points for? Um. So it's just like if you don't use the right weapon type on it, then it does. They don't like really break up as easily. But then you also get like, yeah, the little power ups that increase the power of the weapons. I really cannot imagine playing this game in VR. I just. First person VR. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I like. I've had I had the PSVR when I had this game, but I just never tried it because I was just like. I'm good on that. Dude, what the f Why are you f***ing here, man? You're so old. Where's your wife? Go home to your family, dude. Build and buy mode. You say build and buy mode? I was thinking about Sam's for the grand. Oh. <laughs> that would be interesting. Sims mixed with this. No. How would, how would that work? Um. Oh. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. I don't know. I'd probably be like a mini game. To be honest, EA is too much of a dish boy. <laughs> no, no. We're gonna pitch this to a company that's not EA. Super Sim does. Only they can see my face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would it just be like you build a house and then you have to defend it from asteroids? Or like you build a planet. Build a whole planet? Mm -hmm. And like the build and buy a like you add like different foods and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Eita, eita, ó. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> I don't know, Gary. I don't know, Gary. I'm just a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from the lady that has like 2,000 hours in Dragon Age and 500 <laughs> hours in Baldur's Gate. It's only like 200 hours. <laughs> only 200 hours. Yeah. Are you sure? Because I feel like like oh. after the first month you were at like 100 hours. I was at 100 hours, but then I stopped playing it. Oh! Get back. I split her out. That's pretty good. It's the first time I died since we switched to the cave. Ah! Just fucking jinxed myself. Jesus Christ. Ah ha 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 ha! I feel like there's not much for me to talk about. Because I'm, I'm just focused on not dying. Oh, crap. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> um. Call me up and I'm I'm about to drop You. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! That's what you get that's for that what bad I, drug. That's what I get. Let's see, what are these other ones? So we got Arcade, Play One Planet and the Planet Mode, Endless, Survival, Bomber, Armed Only with Bombs. Huh. Play One Planet as fast as you can. Charge through enemy with the impact booster weapons disabled. An endless mode with a trail of rocks spawning behind you. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go down the list. Why not? Still has better planetary exploration than Starfield! Oh! That's true though, like I was trying to explore this planet in Starfield last night and it was like a resort planet and it's just like a resort and like there's nothing to do at the resort because you're there for a different mission. And uh, so, like, I had to go find resources to complete the mission. And I was just walking along the planet. There's nothing to do. It was just like, oh, here's some, like, bat, bat birds that will attack you occasionally. <laughs> but, like, the AI is so bad on them that, like, they wouldn't even get close before my my companion would take them out. It wasn't even me taking them out half the time. And then like they had a marked landmark and the landmark was just a pond. <laughs> <laughs> I really could have done without walking halfway across the map to get them there. Okay, so even though they're green, the gold melter works better on the map. Got Noted. Noted. Hey! Please, two complete. Oh. God damn it, you little fucking. Get the little fucking fuck. The <laughs> little fucking fuck. God! No! <laughs> God melter activated. Wanna play classic co-op mode with me, split screen? You want me to? Let's see. We got so we still got 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. I get really <laughs> frustrated. That's fine. <laughs> Here, go grab these, these kind of games piss me off the most. Yeah. I'm gonna grab your controller. You've got better reflexes than me because you're 
you're younger. Melter you decrepit old man. What do I do? Oh, oh, oh shit. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, so <laughs> I probably should have explained that. <laughs> um, so this stick is your shooting. This one's how you move. Uh, the R1 and L1 are how you switch between weapon. Okay. Left trigger is boost, so you can use that to get away real fast. And you can also use it to uh, crash through rocks and stuff without dying. And then right trigger is bombs. Okay. Oh god, I was looking at your screen for a second. <laughs> Oh, we share the lives too. Good. Love that. Oh my god. I'm sorry. It's okay. I asked you to play go up with me. Oh. It's up to you. I splitter activated. Crusher activated. Gold melter activated. Probably just wants to try to avoid shit, but. Uh, just gonna dance. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna dance. Well, you can't do anything. <laughs> You guys are easier than the little fucking worm guys. Jerks. Oh, fucking worms. Ah. Worms. Mm. I don't think ah. the ship is proportional to. Oh, um, I get it. Yeah, that's just because it's, since it's a shotgun mic, it's able to pick me up because I'm directly in front of it. So. But I mean, I picked you up all right. Yeah, it's just sometimes it's very muffled. Yeah. You need to add subtitles. Okay. For your life. Okay. Ah. I just make a bunch of new titles. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, get it, get it, get it, uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Game over. Yeah. Wanna try again? Yeah. Get ready. Did it just say get metal? No, it said get ready. <laughs> get metal off. Get ready. Clearly you didn't get metal enough for me. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, brother. Come on. Your brother. Ah. Oh. Off my ass. <laughs> Stupid worm thing! What worm are you? Oh! No! Is it up to me? No. Yeah. Get it. 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 We're not aiming for the truck! Yeah. Get the bombs. Ooh. Oh. Game over. Good though. New monthly high score. Sick. <laughs> Got it just for you. Oh yeah, so we're gonna go see Madam Web tomorrow, right? You're hilarious. What? No. The perfect couples movie. Oh. Whatever the future holds. We'll be ready. And you know the best thing about the future. It hasn't happened yet. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! No, I heard yeah, it's yeah, almost as good as Morbius. Turn off. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should probably try to do this. Right. I just don't want to. But I don't want to. I just want I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh. Gotta try to play both. You didn't play both. <laughs> <laughs> Game over. I really don't know how much I like the look of my custom shit now. The game doesn't look hard, but the difficulty ramps up so significantly so fast. And honestly, that is my problem with all Housemark games, because every single game I've played by them, you think it's going to be easy, but no. It just gets so hard. You got Dead Nation, this one, Resogun. I never played Alienation, but I bet that one's hard too. And Returnal, I can't even get past the first boss. Guess what? What? Yes! Fuck you! I got. I got so scared that he was just gonna jump on me because <laughs> he looked like he was going to. I think the tripod stopped him. <laughs> Get him. Oh shoot, I saw the shit. Just throw the wave of enemies at me, already, please. Go to after
I thought it was gold, but I just started playing endless, and it looks like there's actual gold. So, <laughs> I mean, the weapons are—they still work against other types, but they're just more effective. Shit. <laughs> even I'm still a thousand and one, even on this one. I thought I was doing good. And then the, the thousandth person has 33 million points. Stardust. These people just play nothing but super stardust. Maybe I'm yeah, maybe I'm just bad. Maybe I'm just the worst at this game. Get ready. <laughs> Gold melter activated. See, you see what I'm talking about? That's the gold, right? Yeah. I, mean, I guess I mean, that's regular rock, but there was like one that was like copper. Gold melter activated. It's your turn. I'm the kidding. Last four no. minutes. Kyle, no. For the last four minutes. Stardust. No. Get ready. What the hell is this? Ah! <laughs> this is yes! Final score zero. That's what I was going for. Stardust. This is literally just you can move around and you can boost. Get ready. Oh my Christ. Oh my Lanta. What the hell is that noise?
No, stop! Maybe it's just telling me when my booster's almost ready again. Yeah, I don't like that. I got less than a minute on my recording here. Come on. You have to survive it to live. Ooh, so ah! Oh no! It better than zero though. <laughs> it did, what? what can you get a negative amount of points? <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I don't know. I haven't tried hard enough, clearly. But that brings us to the end of our hour. Are anyway. you sure? Okay, I'll just sit here silently for no. 10 seconds. Hand me your fucking phone. There you go. <laughs> the video clip is saved. And with that, our time has come to an end with Super Stardust Ultra HD Turbo Remix 2 Remastered Reloaded. VR edition. The Umbrella Chronicles. <laughs> Go ahead and, and uh, collect my thoughts, and uh, I will see you guys here in just a moment. Huh. Well, this looks a bit different, doesn't it? Well, honestly, I don't have a whole lot to say about Super Stardust HD. I thought it was pretty good, you know, obviously. I used to play it a lot, and... I'm old now, so I suck. Um, obviously, you can tell since I died over 30 times. Uh, but, yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, one thing that is important to note, I, I truly think it is one of PS3's seminal classics and uh, that it really helped to establish Housemark as one of their, their best developers. Um, obviously, I mentioned Returnal, which is, is pretty awesome. Um, but that game's hard as hell, too, and I'm excited to see what they come up with next. Uh, that's really all I have to say about the game. I mean, it, it holds up really well, looks great, um, and I know that I was playing the PS4 version on a PS5, but, I mean, the game has always looked like that, even all the way back when it was uh, on a PSP. Like, it's pretty insane to think how well a solid art style and gameplay loop can hook you and keep you invested, uh, even all these years later. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching, and I'm excited to see you again on the next episode of The Opening Hour. Alright, see you later.